When I was a kid, my mom would tell me and my brothers a little story before bedtime. You know, those childish stories when we were pretending to be superheroes or some sort of kingdom in the palace, whatever that is. I basically forgot all of them, but there were some stories that I definitely remember because my mom tends to have a habit of exaggerating the stories. No, I'm not talking about the Mary Sue's and Gary Stews, okay? When I talk about exaggerated stories, she turns little itty bitty harmless stories into threats? Which I know it sounds crazy, but that was a way for her to discipline us, which I could see why. What do I mean by that? Well, her stories would be something like... Once upon a time, there lived a young girl named CJ, happily frolicking in the land of rainbows and unicorns. One night, she was kidnapped and enslaved by Willowinky. Yep, those are the kinds of stories that my mom would always tell me as a kid. Wee Willy Winky is one example. If you haven't heard of that nursery rhyme, Wee Willy Winky runs to the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown. Basically someone who checks if children are already in bed by 8 o'clock. You know, it's nothing harmful, right? He's just checking if children are getting adequate sleep. Could never relate. Well, my mom turned him into an abductor. <laughs> she would tell us that if we don't sleep by that time, Wee Willy Winky will knock on the window, which is true in the song. But she added that he'd be entering the house, checking on us personally, and if he catches us not sleeping at that time, he will take us with him to a faraway land, and he will punish us for not sleeping early that we'll probably never ever see daylight ever again. How exaggerated is that? <laughs> Now, at that time, we were already a little bit older, so me and my brother Brandon were not as gullible. So, my mom did a little something to scare us. But before I continue this video, I just want to quickly add that this video is actually brought to you by XP Pen. When I was making the edits of this video, I was actually using one of their products, which is the Fun S Pen tablet. I gotta say, this tablet may be small, but oh boy, does it do a fine job. On screen right now is the unboxing portion where you can see the tablet itself, the pen, some nibs for the pen, cables, and a little bit of documentation. I'll flash the other specs on the screen right now, so just pause the video if you want to take a better look of them. Here's a close-up of the tablet. The design is sleek and straightforward, and it comes in with different colors. It is super cute and lightweight, and because of its size, you can literally bring this anywhere and everywhere you go. Well, as long as you have a computer, laptop, or Android device with you. For the most part, I enjoyed using this tablet. The pen was responsive, and the pressure sensitivity was working quite well. And those are the main things that I really look for in a tablet. Though I gotta be honest, when I was using this for a long period of time, my hand was starting to get a little bit cramped, and I know for a fact that it has something to do with the size. Might just be a nitpicky thing though, because I'm just used to working on bigger tablets. If this is what concerns you though, you don't really have to worry because they have a larger version. I'd say I recommend this to users who are getting started with digital art and are just likely testing the waters before investing in a bigger tablet. But I also recommend this to people who will use this for educational purposes like online classes and note taking, for work related stuff assuming that it has something to do with illustrating something, and for users who play games like Asu or any other rhythm games. This is a relatively affordable tablet, so if you're interested in getting one yourself, I'll leave a link to XP Pen's store in the description box below. You can actually use the coupon code XP Siege for an extra 6% off, which is only valid until the 31st of May. Other store links will be provided in the description as well, along with their respective coupon codes and discount vouchers. Thanks, XP Pen. Now, what happened next? So, it's already past 8 o'clock, and me and my brother were still not sleeping at that time. Side note, yes, we shared the same room back then. I don't really remember what we were talking about at that time, but assumingly it's about Dragon City or Petaville. I don't know, those were the games that we used to play. Everything was pretty chill. Until... D did you just hear that? We actually heard a knock outside the window. And another knock, but that time it was much louder! That was the time me and my brother got freaked out, so we scrambled and went to our respective beds. The knocking was still going on, so we were so scared at that time. You would think, as a kid, that he actually existed. He actually was planning to abduct us at that time. So as time went on, we actually slept earlier. It actually kind of worked. That went on for the next months until this happened. I woke up in the middle of the night because I wanted to use the bathroom. I think it was around 12 a.m. at that time. 
I got up trying to stretch, and then I heard a knock on the window. So I was afraid to go downstairs at all. But at that time, my stomach was already crying for help. So I had to make a decision. Should I actually go downstairs with the risk of being abducted by a stranger in the middle of the night? Or shall I proceed to in the bed? My younger self decided to take that risk. So then I took a deep breath, opened the door and went outside and braced for the kidnap- What? Mom? What is she doing there? No, literally, I saw my mom on the couch, sitting funnily, while trying not to laugh. I was so confused at that time, so I just rushed to her and hugged her as tight as I can because I was that scared that I might get abducted, you know? And she was just there, laughing. <laughs> and that was the time she explained that it was her doing all the knocking noises on the window in the backyard. With the way she explained that she said that she had to get a stick to knock on the window since our room was a little bit elevated from the ground when she did the knocking she would immediately put away the stick run back to the backyard exit rush immediately to the living room and then just pretend that you're doing something that's how she planned it all well played mom well played but now that i know that he doesn't exist i just continue to sleep late so this video took a little bit of time again <clears throat> Totally didn't procrastinate on this for a whole month But I hope it's worth the wait I'm curious about your life as a kid though What were some of the bedtime stories that you heard from your parents? Or did they tell you something similar to my story? Let me know in the comments If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up And share it to your friends if you find this funny And don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on ring a ding ding So that you won't miss any video from this channel As always, thanks so much for watching Stay amazing and God bless Siege out Woo!